the side. Yesterday when AJ was working with the, with the questions on the board, um, he connected shame with arrogance for me. Uh -huh. And that was a, a real awakening moment for me because I've struggled with arrogance and, and I didn't realize that it was actually covering my shame. Sort of like a defense mechanism against your shame. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. And yeah. it was very in place and, and very, and I was trying to deal with it and get rid of it, but in fact, I actually wanted to keep it. I, I realized I, you know, and, and some of the things I was saying and doing when I was here was actually arrogant. Just this... This facade, so yeah, I put on this to facade, stay away this from arrogant facade. feeling exposed. Yeah. And, and my question is, is um, I've, been, I've spent the morning, and, and I'm quite happy to spend the time myself to work on this. I'm, I'm happy to do that. But um, I'm just wondering if you had some keys to connect that arrogance and shame that might help me do it quicker. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to do it on my own if, if that's necessary, but, sure. you know, I, I, I'm, I'm watching you and feeling your, what you feel about all that, and, and that's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I feel about that is whenever we have an addiction, that's the way we avoid the deeper feeling. So you've... From what you're saying, you've connected, I have arrogance, or I, ha I put on this arrogant kind of display, and I kind of push, and I kind of hold on to this, I'm a bit better, and I'm doing okay, and all of that kind of thing is sort of a push out, and to stay away from, inside I'm a bit ashamed, or I'm a lot ashamed, about... No idea that it was there. Yeah. Uh, none. I had never, that word had never entered my consciousness. The, sh the word shame? The, the word shame. The feeling shame, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what I would do, or what I do, is recognize that, okay, arrogance, every time I use that, it's because I don't want to feel this other thing. And if I'm ever going to feel this other thing, like my shame, I'm going to have to give up arrogance. And so usually what that does for me is when I'm in situations, it kind of begins to sensitize me to then, oh, is this me and my arrogance again? Oh, there it is again. Oh... Oh, so recognize you're not going to... Well, I personally can't give up an addiction like that. But I can grow the awareness, I suppose, in day-to-day -day life of like, oh, there it is again, oh, there it is again. And, rec okay, go, okay, let's stop that now and just feel how that feels. What am I... And usually you feel, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to that other place, so I really want this bit. And that's actually, for me, a lot of the way I work through addictions is recognising it in the moment and letting myself feel it. And as you do, feel the arrogance, feel the desire for the arrogance. It's like, feel how much I want the addiction. This is a big way that we work through addictions, is recognising it's like the will used in that direction. I want it. No, I want it. Yeah, I really want it right now. I, I want to do this thing. Um, and the more I do that, the more it helps me feel how out of harmony with love it is. And I think that's what is beginning to happen for you, isn't it? You're beginning to feel like, oh, there it is again. Oh, yep. Oh, I did it. Oh, actually thinking back, I did it then too. And you kind of, what used to be your happy go-to place becomes this kind of oh, place where you go, I want it, but oh, it doesn't feel, you know. And this is sort of you, it, to me it's like breaking up the concrete to, that where we thought was solid ground and the happy place that we go to to feel secure, suddenly it starts to kind of get a bit shaky underfoot and that's a good thing. Yeah, actually I was, I was, yeah. I was thinking about a divine truth presentation that I'd like to give and my guides are saying well when you can get through this yeah. you can probably yeah. do something about it right yes and and so I I sort of would I, I started the presentation and then and then I'd get some guidance okay there it is and, yeah. and then I felt 
that there it was. Yeah. And, and then I could feel that I, you know, as I was going through it, I could feel when I came out of harmony. And, yeah. And, and I guess my thing is I'd like to, you to just tell me how to do it, and then I can <laughs> yeah. go over to the to one of the three <laughs> processing rooms <laughs> and get it over and with. And get then that I can bit be out done. of you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'd like. Yeah. My <laughs> experience of dealing with addictions is never <laughs> like it's a one-off thing because it's, it's concrete, you know, in your life. It's entrenched. You've been using it for a long time and you've been using it to avoid discomfort. You've been using it to avoid off-kilter socially often. You know, we use these things to help us feel secure and stay away from the, you know, I feel like a frightened little girl up here in front of you guys and, oh, it's so much deep emotion in me that I don't want to expose. So, like the other day when I gave the presentation, I was talking to you about all these things I'm so passionate about, but there was a happy glow on everything because I just wanted to you to not sort of feel how I kind of feel lots of other feelings inside of me of like, you know, insecurity and fear and I want to get it right and I don't really feel all that put together and all these other feelings that feel, I feel like it's really exposing. So I have this little addiction where I go to, hey, it's, but it's not that bad, you know, and it's like, jolly you along and, th and that's yucky now, you know, I can't do that anymore because it feels y yucky. And so my experience with addiction is I can't just go to my room and just have one cry about it. I have to stand up here and feel like it's a bit yucky actually today. But it's funny because it's not that yucky. It's better. It's better even for you, isn't it? It's better when I'm more real. It just feels a little bit more exposed and I feel a little bit more less put together, you know. But I feel more truthful. Yeah. But that's, that's the thing that we have to go through when we deal with addictions. Is that It's not just, oh, I'll go from concrete to the causal emotion. I've got to break it up and feel uncomfortable and feel where I want it and where I've used it and then kind of work with that and feel the discomfort of not... Okay, ethically, I can't go to that place anymore. Or if I want a relationship with God, I can't go to that place anymore. So that means I'm going to have to let this go. Oh, you know, a lot of times I've felt that about addictions. After that presentation two days ago, I was like, no, I want to have it all together. Like, please, when is the day when I get to have it all together, you know? But I don't, so I have to be truthful and kind of get to this... We have to be willing to feel a bit uncomfortable in our skin as we deal with addictions. Um, and that's... It's, it's a process then, and that softens me to these other feelings that are really... that I'm covering over with the addiction. So... My feeling is, Sai, don't... I know you like, like to be a high achiever, a rapid achiever, but this is a process. It's going to take time and you'll feel wobbly and like sometimes you might fall down again and go, oh, there, I did it again. Oh, what was going on there? You know, but yeah, to me it's like this breaking up the solid ground of crap that I've kind of built to avoid the softer part of me, yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Mm -hmm.